So we're here at the Renaissance, and uh, you have announced a new processor, right? That's right. So, well, I'd like to introduce you to our, our Renaissance mobile uh, smartphone platforms. Um, here we're showing three different platforms based on Renaissance mobile LTE technology. Uh, the setup we have here is streaming live LTE uh, uh, at 700 megahertz down to these devices. So this is our uh, MP5225 smartphone platform. It's based on the Renaissance mobile APE5R CPU. Uh, running Android ice cream sandwich uh, and our uh, Renaissance mobile uh, LTE 3G 2G triple mode modem. Uh, this platform is already launched in this uh, handset uh, which is a Kyocera handset uh, running on SoftBank, Softbank network. So this platform is in mass production now and as I said uh, it's running uh, Android ICS. So this is only for sale in Japan? Uh, today this handset sold in Japan on SoftBank network by Kyocera. That's right. Nice, uh, nice design here. And so, is this working to touch? Or? Uh, so, this is running uh, ice cream sandwich. Uh, and sure, and uh, if I can explain what's happening here, is we're streaming uh, video over LTE to these three platforms. Uh, so, what's happening simultaneously, we're streaming uh, HD video to this platform, to this uh, platform, which is our MP5232, and to uh, this, which is a, a, a data stick implementation of our modem, LTE 3G 2G modem. So, so these three devices are streaming live LTE over the air and, uh, to, to demonstrate that. And if you were to visit the Ericsson booth, yeah. you'd find that this same uh, data stick product is demonstrating LTE streaming at 150 megabits per second. So, Renesas is uh, one of the leaders in in. Uh, Modems? Right, so uh, we're one of uh, the only companies that can offer true certified uh, triple mode LTE 3G 2G solution into the market. As I said, this solution, this platform is already launched in this Kyocera handset and uh, we have now moved on to offer this platform which we press released this week. So this is the S uh, sorry, MP5232. This is a single chip implementation of, uh, of our application processor plus triple mode modem. So uh, it is running two times uh, ARM Cortex A9, 1.5 gigahertz, plus uh, GPU from Imagination Technologies together with our triple mode modem. Nice. So uh, this product, this platform is, is, is targeted at the mainstream uh, LTE smartphone market and we'll be bringing this to market in real handsets within this year. So that's going to help get the price down of LTE devices precisely, and get the battery consumption down as well? Absolutely, one of the key selling points yeah. of our platforms is the power consumption. And uh, uh, one uh, demonstration I'd like to show you here, so this is the same uh, same platform I introduced just now, which is uh, which is launched in this uh, in this uh, yes, handset, which is a dual core. Which is uh, sure. This is, so this contains uh, our two chip solution, yeah. separate application and modem uh, devices. The application processor is uh, we call AP5R. AP5R contains the, the same uh, PowerVR SGX 543 MP2 GPU. Uh, that's the same GPU that you'll find in the Apple A5 processor uh, inside iPad 2 and iPad 4S. And so what we have here is a, a demonstration of the uh, GL benchmark graphics benchmarking program. So this is not a video, this is a real-time rendering of graphics content. Uh, and uh, what we're showing here is that uh, our platform running Android Ice Cream Sandwich is rendering this at uh, more or less the same frame rate as uh, iPad 2. So it's the first uh, Android device, uh, so first with this, this GPU? Sure. sure, so we're the only Android device with this high-end PowerVR graphics core. Uh, we are, that makes us the most powerful GPU in the Android ecosystem, which we can show you running equivalent uh, power to the Apple A5. Uh, and uh, we're also running this at a color depth of 24 bits, which gives us the proper true, uh, true color, uh, whereas uh, um, we have a Tegra 2 here in the Samsung Galaxy Tab product, which is running the same graphics demo. It's running at quite a bit lower frame rate, uh, roughly 10 frames per second lower, and uh, at 16 bit color depth, so you lose a lot of the, the resolution in the color. All right. So, basic message is our platform is, uh, uh, has the strongest GPU yeah. in the Android ecosystem, and uh, it's, uh, it's launched already. So, since when is this in the market? Uh... So, this handset was launched last month in Japan. Last month? Yeah. Are there going to be any other ones with this one before the other? Uh, 
like uh, is it going to be mostly this one is going to be international? Sure. So this uh, well, this this uh, this platform is available, and uh, we're discussing with companies to bring this to market and other products. But this is the uh, one chip solution that will take LTE into that mid tier price point where uh, it can be mass market adopted. Is the process size uh, node size the same? Or is there some other differences? No, it's the same. It's the same. So we've taken the two-chip solution and we've produced a one-chip version of that. We've upped the clock speed of the Cortex-A9 to run at 1.5 gigahertz. And before it was how much? It's 1.2. 1.2? Yeah. And uh, made some other optimizations to make it at that right price point for mass market LTE. GPU is the same? Or is the clock the same? GPU, no, GPU is lower here. So GPU is uh, yeah. SGX543 MP1. Okay. Uh, rather than MP2, again, to give us uh, still top-end graphics performance, but at a better price point for the mass market phones. All right. Tablets as well? Sure. It's, uh, these designs are perfectly suitable for tablets or smartphones. All right. Uh, the previous generation uh, Renaissance processor has been shipped in many tablets, even phones. That's right. So the uh, previous generation processor Emma Mobile, uh, you can find in, in a number of uh, tablet products coming out of uh, Chinese companies these days. In fact, they sit at a very sweet spot where they have just enough power to run Android, Android Froyo, Android Gingerbread, and now uh, Android ICS. Uh, but the price point is good that they can they can come into that entry level tablet product, uh, and they're doing very well. So this is going to follow maybe in in that kind of market. Absolutely. So. Uh, what we're offering here is an integrated solution together with our LTE technology. So this uh, LTE isn't an entry-level technology still, but with these products we can bring LTE into that mid-tier price point where the mass volume is. But you continue with Wi-Fi only? Sure. So our application processor is also going into tablet designs now with these Chinese companies, and uh, they'll be they'll be producing tablet tablets with Wi-Fi only. And they don't need to wait for the integrated LTE. They can go ahead now. Like yeah. this one. That's right. That's right. Cool. So how soon are those in the market? The ones with the the new uh, dual core. Uh, I'm not sure when they're going to bring those tablets to market, but they, they're being designed. It's now. Uh, mass within production now. Within this, it's year. full speed. The uh, uh, what's called you make the processor full speed right now. The, 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 the processor is in mass production already. Mass production. Absolutely. Yeah.